In this video, I'm going to go over how to generate an alternative within SiteWise, and furthermore, how to make use of the components feature within your alternative. To get started, open up the SiteWise input sheet. In the Site Info tab, enter all of the information for your site. Then, in the component section under component alias, you can rename your components whatever you want. In this example, I am demonstrating a simple thermal treatment option, which I have broken down into three components, construction, operation, and monitoring. You'll see that SiteWise allows for up to four components. Setting up remedies with different components will allow me to see the environmental footprint of each of these tasks individually once I generate the alternative. The next step will be to enter your data in the component tabs for each of your components. So for component one, I put in all of my construction inputs, well materials, bulk materials, some drilling time, things like that. The component two is for operation. So you can see for this example, I've entered my energy use to operate our thermal alternative. And component three, is monitoring, so I've entered some personnel transportation. For this example, I'm only using three components, so I won't put anything in alternate, into component four. Next, you'll head over to the Generate Alternative tab. If this is the first time you're running SiteWise for this alternative, you'll click the top button, click to generate alternative using previously entered alternative name. That will pull the alternative name that you've entered under site info. If you're updating an input sheet, you'll click down here to replace an existing alternative with the same name. This is the first time I'm running SiteWise for my thermal option, so I'm gonna click the top button. SiteWise will then run and generate your alternative. You can check the status bar down here and it will let you know when it's done. Sometimes it takes a little while, so uh, just be patient and let the tool do its work. Here we go, remedial alternative is done. Now you can close your input sheet and go back to your folder with your SiteWise files. You'll see that a thermal treatment folder has been created as a subfolder under my SiteWise folder. To view the results, double click on this folder and you'll see different, many different sheets in here. There'll be a sheet with results for each of the components, construction, operation, monitoring, and component four, which we did not use. So this results for component four will be blank. To check on the results for individual components, you can open up each component sheet It will give you a breakdown of the environmental footprint within this component. This is our construction component for this example. And results are broken down within many different categories here, transportation, equipment, etc. But you can go over to the summary for a, com a complete breakdown of what your environmental footprint will be for the construction of this thermal treatment option. To see a summary of the remedy as a whole, click on the Summary Results tab. This presents a breakdown of each of the component results individually, as well as the total for the thermal treatment alternative. Now keep in mind that you do not need to use the individual components feature. You can easily enter everything into the first component tab on your input sheet, if you'd like to keep it simple. But breaking things into different components is a nice way to see which part of the remedy has the biggest environmental footprint. So I like to keep it separate whenever I can. Once you have everything separated, you can see where the biggest environmental footprint is, and there's a lot of good detailed information in your results section 
so you can see where the best place to apply your best management practices will be and where you'll be getting the most bang for your buck. You know, for this example, you may want to apply some best management practices um, during the equipment use and miscellaneous category under the construction of your alternative, since this is our highest emissions activity here. And that's it. Check out some of our other SiteWise videos for some more tricks and tips, including uh, how to compare all of your remedial alternatives once you're done. Thanks.